Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate GitHub with Microsoft Teams. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at github.com or log into our existing account. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how we can make this integration work using third-party app. So in this case I've decided to use automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Once we are in here at automate.io, we should go to integrations, click on integrations or basically hover over the integrations button and go to the bottom left part on this pop-up window and click on see all categories. Now we are at app integrations. What we want to do now, we want to pick the first app that we are about to integrate, which will be GitHub. Once the GitHub is applied, we want to go and we want to search for the second app. The second app will be Microsoft Teams, like this. Once we click on Microsoft Teams, we are being redirected uh, to automate.io popular integrations website. So we can basically pick the integration uh, from those integrations already pre-made us by automate.eo if you won't be able to find the integration that we are looking for keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration just remember on the bottom left part underneath the triggers you want to start with a github so once you're in here click uh, on any github option that you find useful uh, for your case and I'm going just with the first one to show you how it's done on the opposite side underneath the actions you want to go and to start with Microsoft Teams option so there are three of them so let's go with the first one all we have to do now is try it now uh, click on try it now button and just to log in to our existing uh, account or register a new account at automate.io. So, and we are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use zapier.com, which is quite a similar app to automate. And uh, once we're here, we also need to create ourselves an account. Once we do that, let's go to the top left corner of our screen and create a zap. Now we have to set up the first trigger. Same as before, we want to start with a GitHub first. Trigger event will be new organization. For example, because I went with the first one. After we hit continue, we are asked to log in or sign in to our GitHub account. On the second action, as you probably thought, we are going with Teams. Same again. We have to pick manually the action event, so let's go with the first one, continue. And the last thing is we have to sign in into Microsoft Teams. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.